Here at Southland Organics, we help growers find effective natural solutions for natural problems at a molecular level. Our goal is to help your farm be as strong and secure as possible. In this poultry biosecurity video series, we are exploring the full digestive process in poultry, paying special attention to the often overlooked and arguably most important indicator of the effectiveness of your nutrition program, the end. That's right, we're giving you the scoop on poop. Now last week we learned about each step of the digestive process and discussed signs of healthy poop as well as the warning signs you should look for. Remember, the bird droppings on the floor of your house can be the key indicators of bigger problems. They can also help you fine tune your business, find areas where you can tighten up your feed conversion, decrease mortality, and even increase performance. Monitoring is the first step. Now this week, we'll discuss what it takes to develop tight guts and take a look at real examples of healthy and unhealthy poop throughout the grow out process from a commercial poultry farm. Now, you've heard the term tight gut. And a tight gut simply means a high functioning digestive system. Healthy, solid droppings are the best way to measure how tight your bird's guts actually are. Let's take a look at what droppings from birds with tight guts look like at different points of grow out and we'll also look at some unhealthy droppings full of warning signs. Now here are some pictures of some tight guts. Looking there at day five, that is a good tight stool. Um, whether you've got antibiotic free or not, that's a good stool right there. You look at day 10, day 17, a lot of times day 15 and day 16 is when necrotic enteritis will start to break. Um, this is still a good tight gut, but probably the most impressive picture is that day 31. Last week we talked about what the stool should look like, and this is a great example. You've got a, a long tubular uh, looking stool. It's got the white cap on there. The color is good. Um, you actually have to be careful if you find this in your house. You don't want to trip over this. You might get hurt. But um, that is a good example of a tight stool. Now here are a couple of pictures of what you don't want to see. And I'm just going to tell you this is a pretty common thing of what people are seeing nowadays. The, the one picture is more of a, a mushy type of uh, stool. You know right now that that is feed passage and you're putting money on the ground right there which should be going into your pocket. But there's a lot of feed passage. The other picture, there we have a lot of bloody stool. Uh, that can sometimes mean necrotic enteritis, not necessarily, but it is not what you want to see uh, coming out of your birds. So these are some warning signs, some things you want to look for uh, to know that you don't have a tight gut. When birds have strong, healthy digestive systems and tight guts, your nutrition program goes further, resulting in better feed conversion and healthier birds, not to mention higher profits. So how do you get tight guts in this ABF environment? By strengthening the bird's natural defenses and digestive ability. To do this, you need a powerhouse of probiotics, organic acids, and biologically active carbon. Studies show these work in combination to increase bird health and flock weights, decrease mortality, improve immune systems, and create better performance across the board in poultry flocks. Let's break down why. Probiotics are simply good bacteria that help birds fight off harmful bacteria like E. coli and Clostridium that can lead to big problems like necrotic enteritis and even dermatitis. If birds have a whole army of strong good bacteria in their guts, they stand a better chance at winning if and when disease is introduced to their systems. Organic acids and biologically active carbon help open up the cells that absorb nutrients in the bird's gut. This means they take in more of the good stuff in the feed and grow bigger and stronger as a result, 
without you needing to increase the amount of food they eat. These key ingredients are recipe for tighter guts and a healthier business. We developed Big Old Bird with these three components to help farmers strengthen flocks from within without relying on antibiotics. Now, you know your flocks are most vulnerable during feed changes. The most significant examples of the positive effects of Big Old Bird that I've seen come from these key moments. Take a look. Here in these pictures, you're going to see a great example of what Big Old Bird has done in this flock. The first picture is a 60-hour bird, and you can see the dropping just below there. That bird has been on Big Old Bird for the first 48 hours, which is what we suggest when you run Big Old Bird. The second picture is maybe even more impressive because your greatest challenges a lot of times come from feed change. This is a 28-day bird that has just moved into withdrawal feed, and that is a tight gut. This is what you want to see, but oftentimes not what you see at feed change. Those results are pretty astounding. If you aren't seeing healthy droppings like those, you might consider adding Big Ol' Bird to your nutrition plan. We have heard everything from you're our secret weapon to you saved our farm from farmers who use this performer. Now, we love hearing testimonials from farmers, but we also love science around here at Southland Organics, and we wanted tangible numbers to back up the results we consistently heard from the field. We believe so much in the product that we had two different third-party studies done to prove this effectiveness. The results were astounding, y'all. In the first study, birds that were given the Clostridium bacteria to bring about necrotic enteritis saw a mortality of 10.9% without Big Ol' Bird. That number improved dramatically in the challenged birds that did receive Big Ol' Bird, dropping down to only a 4.7 mortality rate. That's a big deal, guys. In the second study, Southern Poultry Research Group compared two healthy groups of Ross 708s. The group given Big Ol' Bird saw an average weight gain of a quarter pound on a 38-day bird and a feed conversion improvement of seven points. We are so excited about these findings because they mean the farmers we serve every day can see more profitable flocks and better rankings amongst their peers. Our goal is to always help you, the farmer, with the absence of antibiotics and the ever-present challenges of environmental conditions and disease, we know it can feel nearly impossible to achieve the results you saw in years past. The solution to loose guts, high mortality, and low feed conversion is to strengthen your birds from the inside out. Thank you for tuning in to this poultry biosecurity series. If you need help with tightening guts or simply would like to learn more, the Southland Organics team is here. Connect with me, Alan Reynolds, at 1-800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. And don't forget to subscribe because we are constantly adding great educational content to help you keep your farm healthy.